this video, we will learn how to install the rail guide in the Y axis. For to that, we take the rail guide and we'll introduce the M5 bolts in every rail guide slot hood like this. Next, we'll carefully turn the rail guide with care the bolts don't go out of the hoods. After this operation, we'll install the T-nuts with each bolt only for some turns. If we have the, this kind of T-nuts, we should know that the pressure bolt will face to the upper side. And we will introduce the T-nuts one by one in every M5 bolt. Like this, along the right guide, where we already have installed every T-nut. Turn all of them to the horizontal position and take the right guide to introduce inside the instruction G slot. In the 80 per 80 mm extrusion, we choose the standard slot. Then we face the T nut in front of the slot and gently slide the linear guide inside. We must take care all the time the parallel position for make easy the job. And by this way, introduce one by one all the T nuts inside the slot. After introduce totally the right guide, we will tighten parts the little bolts, fixing by this way the guide but without being totally tight. The reason is that later, when we mount the bridge on the right guide and move the bridge backwards forward, a solve alignment will take place. After this, we can make a final tightening of the bolts. At the moment, I will make the partial tightening, like I said, fixing the bolts with the hands, but without tight. And of course, I will repeat the procedure for each bolt along the right guide. Next, I will show how the final tightening of the bolts will be done. For this job, I will use a torque wrench like this one and tighten the screws until the click sounds on the tool and do it one by one. Now put attention and listen how the click sounds in the torque wrench. In this way, we make sure that each of the screws are tightened with the same force along for the linear right guide. Now what I will do is uh, loosening them, because at this moment uh, we are not interested in uh, final tightening. Now we will show how to introduce the bearing block inside the linear guide. We can see a black plastic light use it for don't lose the portberry. It's important don't remove the plastic right till introduce the block. Face the slot of the block with the edge of the right, making parallel weight and smoothly 
slide the rod towards inside the rail guide. Lead the plastic black light outside without moving. We need to introduce a second bearing block and we will repeat all the procedures for the another extrusion in the other side of the Y axis. <laughs>